Hey guys, welcome back to my video. Today I'm going to be doing Rosalie's four and five month updates. She is almost six months right now and instead of doing two separate videos, I'm just going to just combine the four and five months because they were pretty similar and just to be up to speed anyways. So here she is now and she is getting so big and her hair is getting really long as you can tell. I have her little toy cup here to hopefully keep her occupied. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to get right into four months. Um, I'll just do a little update on myself since I have been um, in my previous videos. So I still haven't had a period. Acne is still pretty bad. Um, hair loss uh, that started around three months was still bad at this point. Like chunks, like clumps are coming out and uh, I had to clean my brush out probably at least, you know, once a week or so. It was pretty bad. <laughs> Um, at four months, she was in size three diaper and wearing three to six month clothing. Um, towards the end of the four months, she had to wear six month pants because, you know, she got a little booty. <laughs> um, I'd say about two weeks into her being four months is when her four month sleep regression hit and it hit hard. <laughs> uh, she was really hard to get to sleep like she would fight it so bad and she would literally just like cry like the whole time we were trying to get her to bed basically up until the point she like passed out and she was just she would literally just you know I don't know like she would fight so hard and cry and fuss and it was really difficult <laughs> and then when she was asleep she wouldn't stay asleep for long she would wake up more frequently especially at night um, her naps were short. They were only probably like 20 minutes long each time and just fussy throughout the whole day. So that probably, that lasted like almost a whole solid two weeks, probably like, like a week and like five, five or six days, I'd say. <laughs> so that wasn't fun. Um, and then out of nowhere, she started comfort nursing more at night. Um, probably like another like week after her regression I'd say um, I mean she would still wake up to eat at night but like this was like just to like you know comfort herself more than actually eating and that actually kept happening over and over um, since that uh, regression every night and it was getting really bad to the point of where she was waking up every 45 minutes to nurse um so that's why we, you'll hear what i say about um five months we start sleep training because <laughs> i couldn't keep comfort nursing her all night long it's just getting too much um she started to sit up better still with support still pretty wobbly and she always was trying to like do like little crunches like to sit up on her own. She had better leg support. She could grab her feet all the time. <laughs> she was always grabbing her feet. And she also learned how to hit, which wasn't fun. <laughs> um, she would wake me up by clawing my face and hitting me. <laughs> Um, cause we were still, uh, co-sleeping at the time. Uh, her hair got longer, like I said, it went over, started going over her ears then, it's even longer now. She grabs more objects and toys, loves toys now. Just more alert and aware of her surroundings. And she started to respond to her name, if you call her. And she also became really interested in food at four months. Um, I didn't start giving her food at four months. I think, well, maybe at the, towards the end, four months. It was like, yeah, I think it was like her last week of being four months, almost five months is when I gave her her first food. She's trying to chew on my hair tie. <laughs> um, but yeah, every time we would eat, she would always try like, you know, grabbing our food and she would like open her mouth and everything. Uh, she still wasn't taking any sort of bottle. 
I'm um, still breastfed exclusively and no pacifier taking either <laughs> we try giving her pacifiers but every kind we try she doesn't want um she would oh she started playing in her little activity center uh, we have that skip hop it's like learn to grow or something i don't know but it's just like a 360 center and she was finally tall enough to play in there still like going in her jolly jumper to jump around and still didn't really like tummy time we didn't do that much tummy time um but like i said she was really fussy this month but towards the end of the month the fussiness started to get better i guess going into five months so at five months um early on we transitioned out of swaddles um since she could roll over i didn't want to have her in a swaddle in case she would roll over onto her belly i wanted her to be able to use her arms to you know roll herself back if she needed to and that transition was actually pretty easy uh, easier than i thought it would be we just use um like sleep slacks now like the sleeveless kind and zip her up and even like nights if it's like hot out we don't use one she still sleeps fine without it so that was good um so for myself for five months really nothing new um the hair loss started decreasing at least um i still am losing hair but not as much as <laughs> the other months still haven't had a period um, acne is like, it goes on and off between, you know, good time or like, I don't know, not good times, but you know what I mean, like going from good to bad. Um, and I do like wash my face twice a day and moisturize and all of that. So it's not that like I don't wash my face or anything. Um, so like I said, for five months for her, there isn't that much to update on. She is in six month size clothing now though. She outgrew her three to six month and she's in size four diaper now. <laughs> uh, we were having a lot of leaking, um, especially at night towards the end of four month in the size three. So we sized up and that problem has gotten better. Um, what else? She started solids, like I said. Uh, we just started out with a couple purees um, since you can't really do baby lead weaning till around six months we tried like applesauce sweet potato peas green beans a bunch of things and she is a really picky <laughs> out of all of those like the only thing she would actually eat was like oatmeal and applesauce and even that isn't like consistent like some days she acts like she doesn't like it and then some days she acts like she loves it so it's all over the place so i wasn't trying solids all the time hoping to give her like a little break and maybe come back to it and she'll like it again but now that she's more towards six months we are starting our baby led weaning journey and we just started it um, a couple days ago and just started introducing you know some basic foods and so far she's just kind of like playing with it and discovering which is you know whole part of it so we'll see how that goes um she kind of says mama in a way i mean not to the point where i think she like realizes like you know like says it to me but she will say like mum mum especially like if she's tired um or like upset she'll go mum 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 it's cute <laughs> um she can fully sit up on her own now that was probably around the beginning of five months that she could do that where she sits up without support and she was a little wobbly still at first but now she doesn't even wobble and she will sit up and play with her toys. <laughs> Everything goes to the mouth. I think she's starting to teethe. I've noticed um, just more of the signs of teething. So 
probably within the next couple weeks I'm expecting her to get a tooth or two. And she loves the water. Now that it's getting warmer outside, um, we have like a little kitty pool she plays in, splashes in. She loves it, sitting in it, splashing in the water, which is really fun to watch. <laughs> but yeah, she's just getting more talkative and more playful. <laughs> and um, like I said, her sleeping was getting pretty bad to the point where she would comfort nurse like all night long and so now we're in the early stages of gentle sleep training. So I guess I'll update the next month on how that goes. Hopefully it works. <laughs> uh, we did just transition her out of our room. Last night was the first night. It was pretty rough, but hopefully that will get better. But I think that's pretty much everything. Um, she still is breastfeeding now. Still doesn't take a bottle. Uh, we do use we're like starting to introduce a sippy cup, so, um, which sometimes she'll drink out of it, sometimes she won't. It's kind of just a hit or miss. But I think that's pretty much everything. Not sure how much she weighs right now. Alright, say bye!